Good evening everybody, how are we doing today? It is Sunday evening. I don't usually do a Power Up 365 on a Sunday, but something is just, I just want to share with you guys what's been going through my mind and um, how I'm planning my next week, setting up my week for greatness and I call it Reflect and plan for greatness. Reflect and plan for greatness. I think you guys must have seen me every Sunday. I say it's time to reflect on the week that's just gone by. It's time to give thanks. So I wanted to take you guys through this process this evening. Um, I just want to share with you guys what does it mean really to set yourself up for greatness. Reflect and plan for greatness. That's what I call this. And I'm sitting here, it's Sunday evening, and I'm sitting here in my office, and I just want to do this, this YouTube, call it a little training session that I want to share with you guys this evening. So, so let's quickly go through this. What does it mean? So you have this plan for your life right? You want to be successful and success means something to you. Success means something to you that you, you want to go and become and do in something in your life. And that something is defined in your mind as success. And if you haven't defined it, I think that's your first step. Then you need to actually sit with yourself, quiet yourself down and actually define what does success mean to you? What do you want? And, and success is always something that fulfills you and makes you happy and as a result is money it's never money so before you go and you say I want to make all this money um, the reason why you want to make all that money is because it's going to give you something so what is success now once you have defined success then you have to keep pushing towards success and on this road to success you will you will do things and then you will it won't work out and then you'll have these bumpy um, events that will bring you down and you need to get over them. And how you do that is you reflect. How you do that is you reflect because certain things worked in your life and certain things don't work in your life. And don't go down the journey of saying something is wrong or right. Don't go down the wrong or right journey. Just say, did this work for me or did this not work for me? Wrong or right has, a, has got a lot of pressure on you and sometimes you live in shame and you live in guilt and that just does more issues to you. So just rather ask yourself, did this work for me or did this not work for me? So what does this involve? First thing you've got to ask yourself, if I'm reflecting on the week, it's three categories. So you can, guys can write these things down. There's three, there's three categories in this reflect and plan for greatness. One, you've got to ask yourself, Reflect on the week and you've got to ask yourself, what happened? What happened this week? Ask yourself, what happened this week? Okay, this week, um, one of my goals was to, to physical health. Uh, did I go to gym every single week? Did I eat properly? What happened this? No, I did not eat properly. Why did I not eat properly? Ask yourself, what happened this week? Um, I had a very bad event, like last week, um, the worst week of my life is when my, do my dad passed away. So uh, wh whatever happened in that week was not relevant. That was the main thing that happened that week. And everything that I had planned or whatever didn't mean anything because that is the one thing I did the whole week. And it's still a successful week. doesn't matter that something bad happened. Is how did you deal with it? What did you learn from it? So uh, th this week was important for me because it was my first week that I was... Um, back into work and um, I was getting myself out of um, all the sadness and that. And so I had to ask myself, what happened this week? You, you, you might have gone on a trip. I went to Cape Town. What did I do at Cape Town? Or I went to Joburg. I saw these four clients. Blah, blah, blah. You need to debrief your week. If you, if you can't debrief your week, then you've got to ask yourself, why can't you debrief your week? And if your week is, I watched... Um, Grey's Anatomy, then I watch Billions, then I watch this. That is really an entertainment part of your week. Isn't it? You didn't really do much in your week, okay? Then um, once you ask yourself what happened in the week, then you ask yourself what should have happened in the week. Last week this time, what should have happened? What should have happened? Well, if you go look at your diary, if you look at your plan for the week, what should have happened? I should have done X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I should have seen 30 clients. I should have got these big wins. What should have worked? So now you know, you ask yourself, what did happen in the week? What should have happened in the week? Okay, those are the first two questions. Then you must get feedback. 
feedback. What was that a success? Or when you saw that client, did they sign up? Did they sign up? Did they buy? Um, were they unhappy? And if they were unhappy, why were they unhappy? You need to get feedback. Don't ever be scared of getting feedback. Okay? Then you must ask yourself, how did I feel? You know, if I had to ask you, how was last week? Did last week make you feel great, good? Then you'll say, listen, I, I actually had a good week. I feel good about it and that. But feeling good, knowing actually what happened, knowing what should have happened, that's that's telling you something, getting you feedback, right? Then you've got to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, did I play full out? Could I have done better? Did I play full out? Okay? And it's not to, it's not to judge yourself. It's just to acknowledge. Just to acknowledge the week that has gone by. Okay? And based on what happened last week, are you on course? So for me, you know, my wife was telling me today that um, I bought two slabs of chocolate and last week. And um, obviously... That does not put me on course to the physical health I want to be in. That does not give me, that does not put me on course that I want to live and be around for my kid and have energy in that. Not when I'm buying two slabs of chocolate, right? So the feedback that I'm getting, I might not like it, but I'm not on course. So um, am I on course for great physical health? No. Did I go to gym as many times? I said I want to go to six times to gym. Did I go six times? If I went four times to gym, am I on course? No, I'm not on course. Did I meet the 20 clients? Did I work the 16 hours a day that I said I was going to work? Did I achieve? Did I close the deals that I wanted to do? So you'll ask, that stuff will tell you if you're on course. Okay, so now I've reflected on the week. That's number one, okay? Reflect on the week, ask yourself some questions, get some feedback, okay? The next thing is perspective. Most people are so heavy on themselves and so hard on themselves that um, they don't put their life in perspective and they so and they feel that their life is so bad and no one's life is that bad when you get into perspective, when you get into perspective. So some questions you're going to ask yourself is be grateful for all you have. So start, start with gratitude. Gratitude is power. Gratitude is power. So um, when you put your life in perspective, get into gratitude. I'm so grateful that I can do this video. I'm so grateful that I can reach out to you. I'm so grateful that I, I can see. I'm so grateful that I can talk. I'm so grateful that I can move my hands. I'm so grateful for God for the gift of this day. I'm so grateful that I have full stomach. I'm so grateful that I could buy those chocolates. I'm so grateful for everything in my life. I'm so grateful for my team. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for my wife, for my son, for my house, for my animals. I'm so grateful. There's so much greatness in my life. I'm so grateful for my mom. I'm so grateful for my brother. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. There's so much things that you can be grateful for. So a lot of things